Um, hi everyone, welcome back to Elite Tech Media Alternative. Um, today I'll be talking about this interesting subject. Uh, I'll be comparing uh, GTX 1080 Ti's graphic cards, the, the actual aftermarket ones. They're actually um, with the custom cooler, with the custom PCB. They're a factory overclock, right? So, um, not many people are actually aware that it's better to buy custom GPU than it is to buy original factory one that came from NVIDIA simply because they're better at cooling and they're, and they're faster because they're, they're already factory overclocked okay so let's move on okay so this is the, the interesting article at techreport.com uh, so um, they're comparing EVGA, Gigabyte, MSI and ASUS right so we're gonna go through each of these cards as you can see the EVGA is the first one this with a special uh, what is what's this cooler called? Give me a second, please. With the um, ACX 2.0 custom cooler on this on this graphic card, I think each year they improve these coolers more and more. Like they they never e everyone said they're really good. So okay, you can see the PCB, which is quite big actually. Okay, it's got beautiful backplate too. This not nothing feels better than having a backplate in GPU, not an ugly PCB. Okay, moving on um, to MSI. <coughs> Excuse me. MSI Twin Front Twin Front Razer V uh, custom um, custom cooled GPU here, which is good. They are they are independently controlled, so each each one only spins as fast as it needs, which is quite good. They will not rotate unless they don't need to. Unless they need to, sorry. Okay, it's it's larger than 980 Ti reference card. Keep in mind, guys, that these cards actually much larger than the reference. So make sure you check your case before you actually purchase one. Okay, moving on. As you can see, look, quite a lot of heat pipes here. Nice backplate too. Okay, moving on. Uh, I think oh, the gigabyte you haven't checked. This is the G1 Gaming. Okay, personally, I have one of these. The fans are extremely loud. Like they, I can actually hear them in my kitchen from my bedroom. They, they, when they're in a full load, it is terrible. They, I messaged Gigabyte six months ago, re regards to this issue, with a GPU Z screenshot. Right, they wanted to see a screenshot. They never go back to me after sending the screenshot. Never go back to me whatsoever. So in my opinion, I will never buy Gigabyte cards again. Never. They're just my opinion. The customer service is up to shit. But the the cooler itself. Cools the car, uh, cools the car real good. I'm on air cooling, and this car, on full load, is, is pushing 55 degrees, which is quite impressive. Quite impressive, right? Uh, Cuba claims the Winforce 3 cooler can dissipate up to 600 volt of heat. You know, uh, which is about twice what what it will be asked to do on a, to do aboard this car. You know. The heat pipes are huge. The backlight is just stunning. You got the nice a light a logo that lights up here on the side, which is quite nice. Okay, Asus. Asus uh, Strix. I don't even need to talk about this. This is just a beautiful card. The only thing I don't like about Asus is just they have this stupid heat pipe that's coming out. As we can see here, look. Like this stupid you can can they just make it nice and sleek instead of having the fucking heat pipe that's sticking out all the time? Every single one of these cards, I remember having uh, SLR 6 series of this same card, and my friends, th that was a beautiful looking card, but the bloody heat, the heat, heat spreaders are just sticking out, and that makes the car look absolutely disgusting. Moving on, so I had a bit of coffee. Alright, moving on, let's go back too. What the fuck is, what is this here? Like, come on. Like, this really ruins it. Like, this red bullshit here. Okay, let's move on. Performance, power consumption, noise, and temperature. This is what everyone's looking for. All right. Shadow mode with external benchmark 2560 by 1440. As we can see here, Asus uh, 980Ti Strix is it's got 96.9 frames per second. G1 Gaming 94.6. Uh, MSI Twin Front Razor 91. EVGA 980. Um, TI is got 88, which is quite surprising. Titan X got 86. 
my friends. Thirty next, it costs more money than these two car, than the, all these cars. It's got less, less bloody performance. I'm real. I'm real, isn't it? Few Rex eighty one, and that's it. This is nine seventy, two ninety X nine eighty. Okay, moving on. Shadow Morton benchmark thirty uh, thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty. As we can see again, Asus is killing at two frames per second more than G1 Gaming, which really you can't really notice this. All these frames per second, you can't really notice them, but still, like it's it's quite impressive. Where, where's the? This is the reference card, all the way here. This is what I'm saying. Reference card for extra 50, 60 bucks. Get this. It's much better. Titan X. Tish. I'm all the way here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Tomb Raider. The same. The, the the actual same resolution. Again, we can see the difference here. Um, Asus Strix, 70 frames. Gigabyte G1 Gaming, 66. Like, you know, the difference is huge. Only have some coffee because this is giving me a headache. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, all these cars have delivered a substantial boost at the default clock speeds compared to the stock of GDI of um, no GDI, GTX 980 TI reference. Given that these th that these are actually products that you can buy for ten to twenty dollar more than 980 TI based, which kind of a big deal. This, my friends, this is what I'm talking about. It's worth it. The Asus Strix uh, captures the top spot among the 980 Ti offering. We are comparing Gigabyte MSI power consumption. All right, let's have a look at this. S uh, system power consumption display off. The highest one is, of course, AMD. <laughs> the lowest one, uh, e it is the lowest on this one here. Let's have a look. Uh, 980 Ti from. Um, EVGA and the and the reference on LTI which is here, and um, you got followed by the um, 680 and followed by 980, not, sorry 980, not 680, and follow the the MSI one is actually using heaps more power than the rest of these cards, extra extra six volts compared to EVGA one, which is which is kind of not really a big deal, but it's still a deal, it's still okay, idle so. Again, MSI is using the most power idol from 980 Ti range. Um, EVJ again is probably the best here, which is kind of good. Power consumption load, um, as we can see here, GTX 980 Ti reference is 300, 327 on full load, followed by. Um, Followed by EVGA one, which is 358, uh, MSI Twin from Razer 360, uh, Asus Strix 378, and G1 Gaming 378. So again, um, EVGA it's quite good actually, but but the reference card uses less power. But but let's be real, this is not overclocked. Of course, you're gonna use less power. It's normal. Okay, noise and temperature. Let's have a look at the noise, right? Uh, seems the noise system noise sorry display off right the, the, they're actually st almost they're all the same really 30 30 30 system noise idle 30 30 30 again see like, like I'm saying like gigabyte you and gaming is 31 compared to the rest it's, it's only one decibel extra but really doesn't make a difference okay load okay let's have a look at the load non -ti, uh reference is actually the most loudest followed by the gigabyte g1 gaming the quietest one is uh twin from razor from msi uh temperature load all right gpu temperature uh the highest is of course on the reference card 83 degrees followed by the uh strix evga msi twin from razor and of course g1 gaming 69 degrees probably the best cooling which is like I said to you guys before in the beginning this uh, G1 gaming from gigabyte It's got um, amazing cooling performance. All right Overclocking move on Okay, let's have a look at this Of course this is the games as, as you can see here GTS tricks 
it's still on the top, but it's only one one really one frame per second extra on 25.60 by 14.40. Moving on to 38.40 by 21.60. Um, again, it's the difference. It's a, such a small difference, but really, as we can see here, uh, MSI one is actually quite bad at overclocking. To be honest, I'm really surprised. As you can see here, that this is the stock standard 980 Ti, and it's absolute, absolute rubbish, absolute rubbish. You know, moving on, you see the difference is so small. Like, you know, it's still and G1 game is actually quite good on this one on a Tomb Raider 3840 by 2160. The the haven't really changed much, which is good. The uh, the highest one. The power consumption really is G1 Gaming is the highest one, the power consumption, followed by the Asus Rix, which is alright. Okay, load, uh, noise, system noise, G1 Gaming, as you can see here, 45 decibels per second, my friend. Uh, not per second, what the fuck. 41, 45 decibels, my friend. The quiet one is the MSI one, thing from Razer, which is quite good, quite impressive. Uh, yeah, moving on. Um, load, keeping temperature load. Uh -huh. Okay, like you can see here, 83 degrees uh, on a reference card. And these these cards here are actually factory um, custom cooler, so they do the difference is is like almost five degrees difference, which is kind of great. You know. Okay, so moving on to a conclusion. Which kind of thing I know what it is. You know. Let's have a look at this. Okay. So. At the end of this. At the end of the day. This trick is all around the best car contender. Alright. Which is which is kind of true. Like. This is what this is what I expected. Asus GTX 90 Ti. Um, Strix edition. Probably the best one you can get. Uh, the quietest card is MSI 980 Ti, um, theme from Razer. You know, the, the best cooling card is, is the, um, it's a most cool card, right? Like, it's, it's actually quite, um, quite good at the cooling performance. But, and it's, of course, uh, gives it, it's actually long. It's the longest card on the market, actually, G G GeForce, um, G1 Gaming from Gigabyte. Um, that's about it, really. The AVG, EVGA one is not even that great, which is um, the the EVGA card is also only after mark after marking contender that requires only a six plus eight pin power power input. That so it should work with the broader range of power supplies units that the other cards in a way EVGA has set its own baseline for GTX and ATR cards with SC cooler. Okay guys, so that's about it. I think the decision is really easy. Nine eighty Ti uh, from uh, Asus Strix, I believe, is probably the best card on the market. If you want cool, quiet, and fast card, as you can see on, the, on the each of these tests, this card comes in, in the first place with almost everything. Everything. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.